and you may be seated as we invite our children forward for some time with Miss Karina. <laughs> I'm liking this energy. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I love your shirt. Will you, before you get comfortable, will you just turn around and show all the folks your shirt? Just because they may recognize it more than others. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? I love ET. That's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. So today, we're going to talk about family a little bit. Now, I happen to know that everyone here is a sister or has a sister. So that's all right. I do have a sister, but we didn't actually grow up in the same house. So I kind of grew up by myself, which gets a little boring sometimes. You know? It just does. It's nice to have someone there all the time. And what about, do you guys have a lot of cousins and a lot of aunts and uncles? Yep, you're shaking your head, yes. A ton, do you have lots of big family events? Yeah, sometimes, yeah? What about you guys, do you have lots of, no? No, but you have a good sized household though. Yeah, but do you, guys, do you have lots of cousins and aunts and uncles, Lorelai? <coughs> yeah? I, when I was growing up, I was always a little envious of my friends who had big families. Because granted, it does have its perks to grow up as an only child. There, there are some perks. But really, it's really nice to have someone always around that you can talk to, that you can hang out with, that you can complain to, that you can laugh with. And I didn't always have that. Sometimes I had to just amuse myself, which that skill carries on to this day. <laughs> But I was envious of my friends who went to big family reunions and their holidays were filled with this house and that house and this feast and, and that party and all those different things. And not that I didn't have a good time with my own family, but it was just, it was quaint. But I noticed that as I grew older, I started to choose some of my family. Who in this room has family that you've chosen? Mm-hmm. Friends that are, that are so close, that have been with you through so much and through such deep levels of highs and lows that they become your family. And then I started thinking of it like God and how God actually gave us a huge family, which includes Abigail. <laughs> but God gave each one of us each other. And that extends not just in this room, not just this little circle here, but everyone that we come into contact with, that's our family. And not only can we count on others that we meet, but we can be there for them. And we can be that chosen family for them. So we get the gift to be chosen and also to choose. So I want us to carry that with us this week and think about everyone that you come into contact with this week, that you can comfortably blow raspberries right in their face <laughs> and find a way to connect with them, okay? Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for running the show, you guys.